It was a horrific scene at a college in Nigeria where dozens of students were reportedly shot and killed while sleeping. The attack on Yobi State College of Agriculture took place early Sunday morning. The attackers reportedly creeped into Yobi State dorm rooms in the middle of the night and then opened fire at random. The Islamic terrorist group organization Boko Haram is said to be responsible. The number of students killed hasn't been confirmed, but early reports suggest between 40 and 50. The shooting at Yobi State is just one in a string of attacks on students in the country. In June, nine students were killed in the town of Maiduguri, and just days later, 13 more people were killed by the same terrorist group. And in July, a similar attack took place in a group of dorm rooms where more than 42 students were killed. The attacks have become so severe, Northeast Nigeria has been put in a military state of emergency. One BBC reporter wonders how this tragedy could happen again. Questions are being raised at the moment as to why there wasn't any extra security for these kinds of institutions that would prevent such an attack from happening again because it certainly isn't the first time this has happened. So the obvious question becomes why is Boko Haram specifically targeting students? The group's name, Boko Haram, actually translates to Western education is forbidden. And the goal of the terrorist group is to convert Nigeria to an Islamic state. The group has already killed more than 1,700 people since 2010 as part of that effort. Since the attacks began in 2009, more than 30,000 people have fled the area to neighboring regions. For Newsy, I'm Jamal Andrews.